gang, over the next few weeks and maybe months, I'm going to detail the contents of my Bob, or 72-hour bag. It's still very much a work in progress, but I thought I'd start to catalog the various components. Now, I'm doing this series in individual chapters instead of doing one or two extremely long-winded vi videos. That way you can also pick and choose what might be relevant to you, especially if you think you've got certain items covered, but looking for other suggestions, uh, you can use that system and approach. Now this first chapter is not in the bag itself, but rather a complement to it. This is my survival wallet. So let's start with the approach I took to assembling it. For my survival wallet, I wanted something that would serve as my last resort if I were to get separated from my bag. I also wanted the core to be based on Dave Canterbury's five C's of survivability. There's plenty of frameworks and systems to use out there. For example, the Boy Scouts and Mountaineering's 10 Essentials, for example. But for me, Dave's system was perfect. I then enhanced that with other requirements. Now I opted for a wallet, maybe the size of George Costanza's, as opposed to an Altoids tin, because I wanted more space for supplies and I also wanted it to be flexible, not hard. There's obviously pros and cons to this approach. But what I came up with, though, meets all of my needs and fits nicely in my cargo pant pocket. So let's take a closer look at the items inside. This is the wallet. It's a Timbuktu Velcro cell phone pouch. Now I can leave it in my pocket or attach it to my belt. I'm not going to cover every item here, but I did want to chat a bit about some of the contents. Now beyond the five C's, I've added in a small fishing kit and wire for potential snares, so there's my ability to procure food. Not essential, uh, certainly in a survival situation I can go much longer without food, but I wanted to have that option. I've added in a signaling mirror and a whistle for comms and rescue, and I also have multiple ways to start a fire, though I'll likely drop in a mini bic which will enable a quick path to fire and certainly doesn't take up a lot of space. Uh, since I can't boil water, this is the downside to not using a tin. I have a heavy Ziploc bag and water purification tablets for that purpose. Uh, I could also improvise with the space blanket and use that as a rain catchment system if needed. Basically that's it. This is my survival wallet that I think will serve as my last resort in a bug out survival situation if I get separated from my bag. As always, I'm looking to make this perfect, so what am I missing? Keep in mind, though, I have limited space to work with. Thanks for watching, and remember, be prepared.